my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus today in the gospel Jesus is saying my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me John chapter 10 verse 27 my dear friends today Jesus is saying that he is the good shepherd and we are the sheep and what kind of sheep are we? Are we listening to Jesus? Are we tuned to Jesus? Are we having the same length, wavelength of Jesus in order to capture the signals that Jesus sends? But dear brothers and sisters, we see radio or dish antenna. No radio, we have to tune to the frequency in order to listen to the music or to any program. Otherwise, we will not get that program, that particular program. In the same way, we have on our rooftops dish antennas. And then, when those people, technicians come, they will be changing the dish antenna so that they, they could get, the, they could receive the signals so that our picture in the TV is clear. So also, we as the sheep, we need to tune ourselves. We need to attune to the voice of Jesus. We need to follow the same wavelength. But sometimes we are distracted. Sometimes we have so many blocks, so many hindrances. One is, we are not able to listen to the voice of Jesus because we fall into the sin of materialism. Materialism is nothing but, you know, having inordinate love for things in the world and having excess love. And that excess love for things is blocking and also making us deaf to hear to the voice of Jesus. Or sometimes secularism worldly things, worldly passions and these are also making us deaf to listen to the voice of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Or sometimes our own individualism, I, me, myself, that is called as uh, Trinitarian egoism, I, me, myself. And if you are lost in your own individual self, you are unable to listen to the voice of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Or sometimes we have undue, undue attraction for our name, fame, and we need to become famous. Because of that, we are unable to listen to the voice of Jesus. And so, we don't become good sheep, sheep that is listening to the Good Shepherd's voice. And therefore, we cannot follow him. And then we cannot experience that eternal life. And that's why Jesus is saying, My sheep hear my voice and they experience eternity. My dear brothers and sisters. You know, there were two friends and these two friends were walking on the footpath. And it was a busy area, busy business area, buzzing with noise and nobody could hear one another. And as, as these two friends were going, one of the friends says to the other, Hey, I hear the noise that cricket insect is making. So we in India, when we say cricket, we only think of bat and ball or IPL cricket. That's not the way. Cricket insect is there, that which makes noise and especially in the nights. So. One friend was saying to the other, Hey, I hear cricket insect making a noise. And then the other one couldn't say, hey, No, I don't hear anything. Because the friend who was able to listen to that noise, to that sound, he was, uh, he was a zoologist and he was trained to hear the noise of birds, animals and insects. So he was able to hear the cricket uh, insect uh, sound and so and then later on what he has done he had a few coins in his pocket 
and then he dropped those coins on the hard ground and people could hear the sound and everybody approached everybody looked at the sound of those coins and this man said we hear what we listen to we hear what we listen to we hear what we are interested in we hear what attracts us and so the other person was able to hear the sound that cricket made and the other one also heard the sound of those coins because his interest was on money so also why we are unable to hear as good sheep to the voice of jesus the good shepherd it is because we are distracted our interests are other things other than jesus but if you have faith and trust in the lord definitely we are going to hear his voice as good sheep my dear brothers and sisters and that's why when we hear the voice of the good shepherd what happens is he is able to give us that commission that great commission that we hear in matthew chapter 28 verses 16 to 20 there jesus says he calls all his followers and he said to them you make disciples of all the nations baptize them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit so when we listen to the voice of our good shepherd then he is going to give us that commission and that commission is to proclaim to baptize and to uh, to proclaim jesus but dear brothers and sisters and this only happens when we are able to hear the voice of the shepherd then we we are we are with the shepherd we as good sheep we will be with the shepherd you know there was a priest and this priest was uh, you know transferred to a place where all is faithful they have uh, large flocks of sheep and everybody was having 100 and 200 you know the big flock that they have and this priest thought why not i have at least uh, 12 sheep with me so he also bought 12 sheep then he, he had hired a worker and this worker was uh, taking them out for grazing and after that by evening he comes and locks them in a room and one day this worker forgot to lock them and then just he did not close the gate and all other sheep flocks and came all around his parish and stealthily these 12 sheep also mixed with other sheep and the worker comes the stall is empty where are these 12 sheep where can i find they are got mixed with others so then he goes and uh, tells the priest sorry father we lost all our 12 sheep and the priest says no don't worry don't worry uh, they they know me and i know them so he goes and then he stands on a pedestal and he calls peter james john andrew so all one after the other all the sheep 12 of them as 12 apostles they came together to the to that priest but the brothers and sisters my sheep hear my voice they i know them and they follow me and i am going to give them eternal life so this is what happens my brothers and sisters when we listen then god gives us jesus gives us that commission to go and proclaim and this is what has happened in the acts of the apostles in the acts of the apostles uh saint stephen was was killed was became martyr and what happened so all these apostles were in jerusalem then because of the persecution they they ran away from jerusalem and then they went to different places as you mentioned as you heard so they went to different places they ran away but if you see positively as they went to new places they proclaim the number of believers increase because had they been in jerusalem this proclamation this evangelization would not have taken place because because of that persecution they had to flee and wherever they went they proclaimed and that's how gospel was spreading 
And that's the uh, good news was given by Barnabas to, uh, to our Paul. And then Paul comes and then there, first time, these believers were called as Christians in Antioch. My dear brothers and sisters, this is what exactly has happened. Few years back in Orissa, Kandamal or all those places, our Christians were persecuted. Many priests had to run and many priests were killed. Uh, nuns were abused. But what has happened? After that, one priest was calling the priest from Orissa. Hey, how is the faith? And how are the people? And the priest from Orissa said, Now, we are very strong in our faith after the persecution. So my brothers and sisters, persecution so that there is proclamation. When there is suffering, then there is spread of the gospel. And this, is what, this was exactly what has happened in the lives of those apostles. So today, let us, uh, as we have reflected, let us as good sheep listen to our master Jesus, the good shepherd. Then we are going to experience that eternity. And secondly, when there are hardships and persecutions, there is also proclamation.